Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. I know it's been a while since the last one and I still don't have a tutorial ready. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm the slowest tutorial upload ever. But, but, before you all destroy me, let me just explain where I've been. I haven't been just sat idly for the past month and a half. I've been in the kitchen. So after the last tutorial, someone hit me up and told me that they like my studio timer plugin. For anyone who doesn't know about it, I've made a plugin on Roblox which helps you keep track of how long we spend in studio. It has an alarm feature and in the full version it also tracks how long you've spent in studio over multiple sessions. So you can even see how long you've been in studio for the whole year since you installed the plugin. Now he told me that he liked the plugin and he finds it really useful and then he gave me a very good idea. He told me that it should also track how long you've spent editing each game. As soon as I heard it, I was all for it. I got straight to planning. And this is where I seriously underestimated how much work I'd have to put in. I assumed it would maybe take like 5 days, a week max, but days and by, weeks, and now months. And finally, we have the finished product. Let me show you. So there are 3 tabs in the plugin. Stopwatch, Alarm, and Stats. The stopwatch, originally called Timer, is the same as before, but with cleaner buttons. The stopwatch starts as soon as you open a place and keeps track of how long you've spent in this session. You can pause it by clicking the pause button or by double clicking the area around it. And if you want to reset the stopwatch, click the red square button. To go to the next tab, you can either click on it or scroll with your mouse if you have one. Now this tab allows you to set an alarm. So you can set an alarm for an hour. And once the time's up, it plays an alarm. You can choose to stop the alarm here or snooze it for an extra 5 minutes. The sound ID used for the alarm and the volume can always be changed in the settings at the top right. And finally, the third tab is your stats page. This is what I've been building in the past month and a half. Before, it just used to look like a simple table. And now, we have a whole interactive graph. Right now, it tells you how long you spent in studio today. You can see the total time on the top left and the time zone on the top right. If you want to change the time zone, click the button and type in the time zone you'd like to use. For example, if your time zone is UTC-6, type minus 6 and it should filter for that option. You can also hover over a bar in the graph for extra details about that time slot. And if you want to check your stats for another date, you can use these buttons below the graph to choose a specific date or time slot. To choose a specific game to see your stats for, simply click on its button in this list. Your games will appear here as you edit them whilst you have the plugin installed, so you don't need to add them manually. Finally, there is a settings page which you can enable on the top right. You can change the alarm sound ID, volume, graph colors, and there are lots of other options here that you can check out. The plugin will cost $4.99, which is now the minimum price that you can sell a plugin for on the Roblox Marketplace. But to celebrate this huge update, the plugin will be free for everyone for the next 3 days. So if you are interested in tracking your time or even flexing your stats, do make sure to grab it now. I'll add the link to it in the description. And if you do encounter any bugs, please do let me know. Besides the plugin, I have a few more announcements to make. First of all, thank you to everyone who has been showing support to the channel. And don't worry, I'm free now to start making videos again. Another thing I'd like to mention is that for the past 3 months or so, I've been streaming game dev with a friend on Twitch every weekend. So from scratch, we've been making a strategy game together, which is basically kind of like a round-based Monopoly slash Bee Swarm Simulator slash Final Forces slash Yu-Gi-Oh kind of game. But if you're interested in watching how a script applies their knowledge into actually making a game, be sure to check it out. We usually stream on Saturdays at about 9.30am Eastern Time. And the final thing I'd like to ask is, what do you guys think about me and my server starting a scripting academy? I know a few of you have requested for one, and we've been thinking about it, and we're pretty excited to make it happen. The way we've planned to make it so far, is that the lessons I upload on YouTube will continue, and will cover all of the essentials of scripting, so what you need to know as a scripter. And the academy will have live lessons teaching you how to incorporate all of those things to create specific scripts and systems. For example, how to create a look system, combat system, tycoon system, etc. And since they'll be live, you'll be able to ask any questions you have during the lesson and we can answer you. So let me know what you guys think about this idea in the comments and what else you'd like us to teach in the academy. It will be a subscription based service because it is difficult to just work for free, but we'll try our best to make it affordable and worth every penny. And that's it for the updates. I hope you've all been well and I'll see you in the next one.